In activity one, what are properties, students learn that everything is made of matter and compare and contrast various objects. The students first describe similar objects according to properties and then identify common properties including color, size, texture, weight, shape, and material. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity sheet one, balloons, blocks, buttons, feathers, marbles, coarse sandpaper, shells, plastic spoons, sorting trays, and the chart, what am I? You will also need to provide the following items, red crayons and a felt tip marker. To prepare for the activity, make one copy of activity sheet one for each student. Each student will also need a red crayon to complete this sheet. Hang the chart, what am I, at the front of the room. Put the following objects on a sorting tray for each team of two. A balloon, a block, a button, a feather, a marble, a piece of sandpaper, a shell, and a plastic spoon. And to begin the activity, ask the students, has anyone heard of the word matter before? Students may have heard the word used in a non-science context. Tell the students that in science, matter is what everything around us is made of. Point to various objects in the room, such as a desk or a book, and explain that although the objects may look very different, that these objects are all made up of matter. Continue quizzing students about other objects, such as a shoe, a bicycle, water, a tree, and themselves. Next, show students the items on the sorting trays. Ask students, are these objects made of matter? Students should confirm that all the objects on the sorting tray are made of matter. Next, distribute a sorting tray of items to each team of two and give the students some time to examine and manipulate the objects on their trays so they can learn about the characteristics of each object. Then hold up a marble and tell students to look for a similar object on their trays. Ask, what does your object look like? How is it like the one I'm holding? How is it different? Encourage students to describe the size, color, texture, shape, and weight of their marbles. Record any new descriptions on the chart in the box labeled Object 1 and record Object 1's identity on a separate sheet of paper. You'll want to keep track of the object's identities so that you can refer to it later when students try to identify objects based solely on a description of properties. Next, choose another object, Feather, from a different team's tray and hold it up. Ask students, how would you describe this object to someone who could not see it? Record their responses on the chart in the box marked Object 2 and remember to keep track of Object 2's identity on a separate sheet of paper. Instruct students to find an object on their trays similar to the one you're holding. Ask, what does your object look like? How is it like the one I'm holding? How is it different? Record any new descriptions and repeat this process with each object from the team's trays. Introduce the word property to the students as something about an object that can be observed with the senses and review the five senses with the class. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. Explain to students that they use their senses to find out about the world around them and that when they describe the objects on their trays, they're actually using words that describe the object's properties. Then ask students, what are some common properties? They will likely name words describing color, shape, smell, size, texture, and weight. Point to and read aloud one of the descriptions on the chart and ask students which object has this described property. Check the correctness of their answers against yours written on a separate sheet of paper. Continue this process for each description on the chart so that by the end of the activity, students will feel comfortable describing common properties of objects and identifying objects based on a description of their properties. Finally, distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 1 and a red crayon to each student and help them read and answer the questions on the sheet as needed. Once the students have finished their activity sheets, make sure to go over their responses. To conclude the activity, have the students return the sorting trays and replace all the materials in the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the science reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.